Hello everyone, welcome to Final Fantasy 16. I'm so excited, I just want to jump in. I've been a Final Fantasy fan since pretty much the beginning. The first one I ever played was in 1991. So, yeah, I'm old. But more importantly, I'm excited. I, I can't thank you enough for joining me on this adventure. For as long as you stick around and watch this series, I, I thank you for that time. Um, but enough of me, I'm really excited. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna start fresh, and I'm sure a few of you are probably wondering why, considering the demo is the first two hours of the game. Um, one, I wanna do it again, because the demo was awesome, and I just wanna go back and do it, and see if I notice anything different, uh, use more active time lore, that kind of thing. Am I gonna spoil anything? No, I'm not gonna say a damn word about spoilers, we're not gonna talk about stuff I know, right? We're just gonna play and have a good old time, and uh, if you're joining me for the first time and you want to see it with fresh eyes, welcome, welcome aboard. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. So good, it's so good! Such Gandalf at the beginning of Two Towers. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I love it. Here's a question. Can I use ATL now? Not yet. Good to know. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Thank you. 
Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern. Feeling really called out right now. I was about to, like, look around the world, see what's up. Like, look at that. Main menu. Press the main menu whenever the hell you want to press the main menu. Gotcha. Like this. Options on the system tab include wireless controller config, all that other stuff. Great. We don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. All right, all right. So this is the kind of stuff I'm interested in. These ruins, these ancient ruins. It's going to be it's going to it's going to be something important. It's going to play a big role. I just know it. Just in time. What an absolute crazy use of the the main crystal theme. It's great. Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. Lady's trouble. Trouble. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides, your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which, judge. 
just leaves me. Kupka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. I love how just disrespectful all the dominants are. Like, they're just so powerful, they just don't care. Chases the hair. Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <sighs> you know what? I don't. I don't trust her. <laughs> but dude, I think she's got ulterior motives. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Kind of just littering the world. These very weird, almost alien, ancient ruins. No one really talking about them, but they're interesting, and I'm obsessed with them because they just look so neat. But also, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't wait to see what unfolds in this story. I'm so excited. I've now played this opening three times, and every time I'm just like, where, where is this story going? <sighs> and quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Titan. So the Darmaks finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Who's here to greet the bastard? Come on. So brutal. And once the icons are on the field, why even be there? You're just going to get crushed or frozen or burnt or whatever. <laughs> Puts in perspective like how truly powerful they are.
don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! That man popped. That is a terrible death. That guy exploded. Wyvern. Wyvern. I told you before, you do not get to die here. Oh man, he gone. <laughs> Clive! Get up, Clive! It is pretty funny though. They had a dude in a voice studio and he had like six lines and one of them was fuck, 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 fuck. I think that's great. <laughs> and they're like, and then you explode. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Torgal. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. All right, <clears throat> flex the old. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. Execute four combos. Like so. Mm -hmm. Once more, please. <laughs> ah! Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Okay. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. I love that line, Reed. I Do it if you can. Land the old fireball spells, gotcha. Keep them coming. Ah, uh, you block it. Block that. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. 
Would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. Too soon. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Rip BS. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on my feet. I can do that. Evade four times. I can do that. And then I can counter. In theory, I can counter. Don't simply watch my movements. Never mind. Read them. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on. How did you dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing. Oh, come now. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. I just need to get better at timing the dodge you so I can get that. any shield, are you? Bonus attack. Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. Close the gap. This is the circle button attack, which is really just a dash. It's actually why I like this form a lot. Was it all our shields could move so swiftly? Very Final Fantasy Impressive. 15. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. <laughs> This the guy may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Yeah, so again, this game is very different than other Final Fantasies in that it limits the amount of things. So you see I have potions, high po all that stuff. It, I can only have four at the moment of potions and three high potions. I don't know if that changes. I have no clue. I think it's neat. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. Actually, if you believe really like yourself this worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. How that, me boy. Make proof of your strength. The will gauge indicates an opponent will uh, to fight back, break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. See if I can do this. Dodge attack ability. Nope. <laughs> nope. Failed it. I'm gonna land this. I know it. I believe in the dream. Come on, Jesse. He's gonna. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Staggering your enemies. I can execute Rising Flames right now with the R2 and the, okay. Well, it's time I took my own advice. 
and used all the tools at my disposal. You see how much like stagger it does? If you can nail that, it does it so well. Keep pressing. Like you just look just at the look at we bam! Look, it just does so much more. Oh, never mind. Or I get distracted. Not quite. Yeah, I gotta really nail that. Because I don't want to equip all the extra bonuses that, like, make it easy. I may have to. Let's not lie. There may be a boss where I'm like, mm -mm. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try and learn. He won! See? I told you he could do it. I... I... I yep, I agree. I wasn't paying attention. Best is at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. <sighs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. I love that they do that very medieval thing where they like, I'm talking. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. It's very like, uh, if no one can see what my lips are doing, they can't hear me. You know what I mean? We should join them. Like, this isn't for the normals. It's a very unnecessary level of realism. I don't know why I really enjoy that. As a history nerd, all about it. Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. 
other day, Jill and I went to the Bailey to watch Clive spar. Is that so? Quiet, <laughs> Oracle, Oracle, I love you. No, no. How dare they, they make, make him so cute? Hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. <laughs> Shields dismissed! You're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. But first, the Arch Loot. <laughs> is, is that what I'm going to call my the Arch Looter? That's me. Sunrise, sunset. Finding your way. Making my way downtown. Hold an L3. Fall in Torgle. And I'm homebound. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Make sure all the crystals. Poor Jill. She's like, what is he doing? All right. Let's get this stuff unpacked before the Duchess calls for our heads. Right you are. Okay, my lord. Unpacking I will. Finding items. They're glowing. They're everywhere. And then from here... Yeah, the real menu. All right. Main menu, attributes, main menu, everything. Let's start over here. Uh-oh. Yep, these are my items. This is my cool kid journal. So that's my sunrise sunset quest. Cli uh, so too does Clive prepare for his duty as first shield for Zarya. Yep. So those are the items I currently have and what is on my shortcuts, my attributes, gear. Right now I should in theory, oh, I don't probably get it later. But I also have these rings. If I want to, I can equip the Ring of Timely Focus. That makes it so, you know, I will uh, get out of there. <laughs> I can make those dodges a little bit easier. Then this one automatically evades attacks. I don't. I feel like that's too much for me. Timely Strikes is just the square makes it a lot easier. And then Timely Healing is it will auto heal you if you fall below a certain HP. This one is, if you've ever seen uh, various trailers, you watch the demo video, it uh, does the like, beep, and you have to press R1 in a certain amount of time to jump out. I'm going to try to avoid using this. It is helpful, though. No lie. Very helpful. But uh, we'll, we'll sit tight. Well, this is it, lads. Time to put an end to their little crusade. And Rosaria's future will be secure. That's pretty cool that he's like, my lord. Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Wouldn't do to give our soldiers spent shards. Yeah, so the way magic works in this world is crystals give you the power to cast magic unless you are someone like a dominant who has the magic imbued within them. Everyone else is using crystals. And if you use up the power of the crystals, like they were just saying, you don't want to give your soldiers spent crystals. 
And the crystals are used in everything. I'll show you a great example, actually. Oop. In a second, I will. Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. So unnecessary. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> I think that's fantastic foreshadowing. A tattoo on the side of his face is... Yeah, that is what Clive has later. And it appears that is a mark of slavery? Serfdom? Subservience? Something like that. Anyway, Looks crystals. Like getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Oh, Dorgle. So you can see they're using this crystal, this water crystal, to fill this well. well don't you make an awesome pair. We'll be having a feast for the two of you soon enough. You mean me and Jill? Wait, what? Stone again. What do you... Um, what? This war ends up or do you mean me and Torgle? Because that, that could... Best fill our bellies while we can, then, eh? I think Torgle and I could rule the kingdom fairly well. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? But I mean, I guess, like, Jill's cool. Yeah. But again, look at this dude. He's got the tattoo as well. Alright, got that. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Well, when I rule this kingdom with my best friend Torgal and Jill, I promise you, sir, I will beat up so many more people. Was there anything in here? Any conversations of note? That was a thrilling bout, my lord. I. I couldn't look away. You put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned. Oh yeah. I did zip around with the power of fire, so... Like, that's gotta count for something. Actually, is there anything this way? I know there has to be. Phoenix will be with us. All right, let's get this stuck. More refugees arrived today. Well, if things get crowded, we can always conquer Ironholm. Ever the optimist, aren't you? Preparation is key. We must be ready to march at any time. You don't need to tell this one. She's raring to go. 
She's heard this speech before. And a quay to you. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? I know. I'm not about to send our lads off to war with dull blades. <laughs> That's my favorite voice this entire game. Oh no! What you take me for? Some sort of dum dum? Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? Their castle's beautiful. Um, so I know I need Where's to go that Joshua? way. Yeah, talk to Joshua. But, you know I gotta look around. What's this guy doing? What are you, sir? My lord, it, it, it's not how it looks. I'm um, inspecting the castle walls by order of the Duchess. I. Why would I question this? What else would you be doing except... <laughs> What do you look like? What would he be doing besides that? Even if he was trying to shirk his work, and just be like, "What? Why?" Is this guy using green magic to make topiaries, or I guess just trim the bushes? That's so neat. Marquis, forgive my man. You'll be done in the jiffy. Just get in the place, tidied up for the big procession. This is just such good world building going on right now. Big, big fan. Hold on, can I ATL? Whoop! I can. Hey, we're in there. Active time lore. Hold this button right here. And uh, yeah, then you can get all the lore you want, and I'm gonna read as much of it as I remember to read. <laughs> all right, Rosalith Castle, situated in the heart of the Ducal Ducal Empire of Rosalith, it is from the towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation, an architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, uh, which he put to good, uh, good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. Firstborn son of Archduke Elwyn, ruler of Rosaria, from a young age, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade, and his practice paid off when he was appointed first shield of Rosaria, tasked to guard the phoenix and blessed with the ability to wield a part of his fire. Oh, look, at they're really just going to give it to us. I love this. Let's talk about the brand. A mark applied to the cheek of bearers across Valisthea, identifying them as something other than human. Newborn babes are checked at birth. Those who are found to be bearers being branded and taken into the custody of the state. Rarely, bearers evade this test, either because their parents hide them, the testers are lax in their duties, or their powers do not awaken until later. Yet, most do not remain unbranded for long. Interesting. So it's not... Well, let's just go here. Let's find out more. A person with the power to cast magic without a crystal. Ah, so it's not necessarily a slavery thing, although their societal position is lower, right? They're just in a cast below. And so those dudes who were like, yo, 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 right? Manipulating the, the trees that we just saw, they are imbued with magics. And that's kind of like a no-no in this world. In Valisthea, men and women who awaken as bearers are enslaved. Okay, so they are slaves. No, I should have just kept reading. They're marked with a brand upon their cheek and used as tools, a cheaper alternate to the scarce and precious shards. Ah, so in battle, for example, you'd want to save crystals to fight Right? Rather than send your bearers, even though they still possess those powers. A cheaper alternative, like I said, to the precious shards. 
This system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Malsian life that few take pity upon the bear's plight, seeing them as less than human. That's why, that, you know what, that's why I love this. Good, good old, good old fun. Clearly I picked up on what was going on, but this really spelled it out for me and that's why I love ATL. Clive, I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. Oh, but that's also super interesting for Clive. Because later on, as you know, he has it, right? I love it. I love it. That child is the future of our nation. He must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. Can I talk to her at all? Mother? No. Ladies. This lady's trouble. All right. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> Torkel. What a good boy. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. My mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? I guess that's like, I don't want them to know I'm sassy. Yeah, yeah, it's protocol. That kind of thing. I will Weird. do my duty. But fun. Your grace. That will be all. Rest well. 
We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Pardon, Your Grace. ATL, Your Grace. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna look. This is this is gonna be me. I'm gonna be doing this a great deal. Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army, outranked only by Archduke Elwyn, who is not only his liege lord but a firm friend. His firm friend. The two share an unshakable bond of trust. Elwyn consulting with Rodney on all military matters. Mm, let's start with the mother crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Alistheia. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on in their everyday lives. I guess the Twins are probably the continents or some sort of landmass. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For those reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. Gotcha. So we're very, like, Ether in the Final Fantasy XIV vibe of... All right. Also known in the local tongue, oh boy, as the Haran, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig... Lusg... Lusg... Yep. The Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely, inward-looking culture. And based on the intro uh, scene where they were fighting... They're the, like, big buff dudes that kind of look like, uh, I don't know, Skyrim-y barbarians. So that's pretty cool. Barren wastes bereft of ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but unusable. Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread even more widely displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna into violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. This is a major plot point that will develop over time for sure. The Blight and the Deadlands, yeah, this is going to be... This is the reason why all the nations are fighting, and, I, you know, I'm going to assume is related to this in some way, right? If this... If the crystals have ether flooded around it, and the Blight is the lack of ether, or the Deadlands are where there's no ether, then there is a connection, right? And it might be as simple as the more we use, the more it takes from the world, like in the Final Fantasy worldview, you know what I mean? Like, this is theory crafting right now based on very little evidence, but you know, uh, the Final Fantasy worldview of, like, the, f the, the, the life force and the ether and this, you know, there's, like, the Earth only has so much of it, and if we keep using it, we're just gonna, like, screw ourselves over. I feel like that's kind of where we're going. But I don't know. But that's a good guess, I would assume. What is... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a brazier. I was like, is that a cart? What is that thing? It's where I store my swords. Like, okay. Um, yeah, we'll go up. I don't think there's any treasures hidden around here. I mention how much I love this hall. <laughs> like the, I think every time I've walked down here, I'm like, damn, that's a gorgeous ass looking hallway. But also, before I turn in, yeah, I don't think I, I've ever done this. I love this world. I love the way it looks. It's just so beautiful. But also, loot? <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> Truly unnecessary. It doesn't appear like it's the case at all, but... You know I gots to look. Just to be... Nope, hard no. Alright. Actually, can I go talk to Dad real quick? I can talk to Rodney. This war we need to wage. 
It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else, we cannot allow those Ironblood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. We drove the iron blood from our shores once before, but their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to storm. And when the Crusaders march, mm. they move a damn sight quicker than the Blight ever did. Gotcha. So we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the Duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. But that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. Cool. So... The faction we're fighting isn't just sort of inward-looking, barbarian-ish hordes. They're also, like, fundamentalists. I don't know if it's a religious fundamentalism. He wants to spread his message, right? It might be like a crystal fundamentalism. I don't know. No messages, my lord. Crystal fundamentalism. <laughs> Have you heard the good word about the mother crystal? How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apodotry, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. She is very unpleasant. Have an early start. I'm going to sleep. Don't like her one bit. Also, before this scene starts. Nothing. Interesting. Okay. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Dude, you're right. 15.
You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Very Final Fantasy XIV symbolism. I absolutely love it. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. Damn, that one villager might have been on to something. It's getting cold. Oh, never mind. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. But first... <laughs> what I think is actually fascinating about this is... And I didn't pick up on this the first two times I played through this intro. Is that the discussion with Dad about fighting versus this, like, iron horde. You know what I mean? Jill is one of them, right? Like, I knew she was from a foreign nation brought here after a war. But it's very specifically spelled out. And now we can get a little more information about that. Yeah. Born a princess in the, of the Northern Territories, Jill was made a ward of, the, of Rosaria after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. She was raised in Roseleth Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who, became, uh, who came to love her as a sister. So my assumption is that the Northern Territories, where now the Blight is, were at one point controlled by this, you know, these iron guys. And now... Uh, there's nothing there. And so that's why the two of them are fighting, because they're fighting over the limited stuff that's left. A bitterly cold region in the northern reaches of the continent of Storm. It was originally home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Eye, which we're gonna, we, like, we need to make sure we secure that, right? Around which a series of small nations sprang up. Nations whose belligerents proved troublesome for Rosaria over the centuries. In time, however, the mother crystal's power dwindled, and with it, the power of these warlike nations. With the Blight encroaching on their territory evermore, the remaining tribes were united and pacified by Archduke Elwin Rossville of Rosaria in the year 854. So it may not be exactly the Iron Guys, but uh, same thing applies, I would, I would think. Firstborn son of Archduke Elwin, ruler of Rosaria, Though all expected him to inherit the Phoenix's flames and awaken as its dominant, Destiny instead chose his younger brother Joshua to bear the burden. In search of a role of his own, Clive dedicated himself to mastering the blade and his practice paid off, right? Okay. Uh, ability to wield parts of fire. I feel like I read that before, but did it again. The burning red... Ah, see? So this is very Dalmud. Which is a Final Fantasy XIV thing, no spoilers. The burning red star that sits beneath the moon. Folklore ascribes to Media the role of message bearer to the moon, so it's common custom across Valisthea to wish upon the star that one's heartfelt desires might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. Are we gonna go to the heavens and beyond? Where is this game going? I'm so excited.
Hmm. They really keep focusing on the moon and that star. I don't know if that's foreshadowing or just it looks cool. You know what I mean? Sorry, Ambrosia. I won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Good luck! Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate! May the blessing of the crystals go with us! And shield the fireless flame forevermore! As Grace departs, open the gates! Lord Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you? This is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. So, Wade, <laughs> Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. I love these two. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. But first, to my lord. Marshes. To the marshes, then. Yeah. Ambrosia, that's who I want to know more about. Born in the stables of Roseleth Castle, Ambrosia was chosen by young Clive Rossfield to be his personal steed and raised by him from a chick. She is a proud bird and deeply loyal to her master, quickly turning her beak upon any but he who should attempt to pet her. Big fan. Ooh, an update? Okay. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua. Elm was born before his father, the previous dominant of the Phoenix, passed away, so he did not inherit the Icon's powers. Instead, he devoted himself to the study of swordcraft and statesmanship that he might lead his country from the front, which he did to wide acclaim in leading his armies in quelling the rebellious Northern Territories. Second son of Archduke of Rosaria, Joshua was appointed heir to the ducal throne by virtue of his awakening as the dominant of the Phoenix. His love and admiration for his elder brother Clive is absolute, and he is only too proud to have him serve as his first shield. His love for carrots, less so. It's very cute. A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Roselith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rossfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. Okay. Learning more and more about it. Big fans. So, essentially, these guys took the Northern Territories and both combined and battled with them and those who weren't down to like join they were like you you we can't deal with y'all and then the iron guys are like this whole other faction that's causing them trouble and they've been warring ever since and okay all right then may the blessing of the crystals go with us Let me try something really quick. 
Right, world map, very cool. We can only go so far, obviously, because we're starting out, but... All right, so I can't active time lore right now. I was waiting to see, I don't ever want to just interrupt cutscenes. I think that sucks, and I <laughs> literally just did it, and I'm like, ugh. But, uh, I, I want to make sure that I am able to get access to the information, you know what I mean? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how well I can do on this. All right, there was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through Stillwind's knotted bows. Now, the settlements lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the howls of beasts that have fled the Deadlands to make the bogs their home. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Also, if he's 15 now, the intro of the game was 13 years later. So he's 28 then. So I'm just trying to like figure out mentally the flow of the game. Also, these are the timely accessories I mentioned before. Don't need them. Fingers crossed. Don't <laughs> don't need them. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. And who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. Duck over there? They've walked into Kingdom Hearts. <gasps> Wade. me all right magic burst after using triangle well actually okay use triangle after striking an opponent gotcha to hit him with the old burst We should press on. There may be more ahead. While we're pressing on, let's press this button. <laughs> so dumb. Sir Wade, a loyal shield of Rosaria chosen by Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwin. Once but a lowborn page, Wade was inspired to join the ranks after the after a woodpile fell on him and his life was saved by a young Joshua. That's very sweet. A loyal shield of Rosaria and scion of a noble family. Tyler followed in his father's footsteps in entering the service of the duchy, rising to the position of right-hand man to the Lord Commander. He was chosen by Lord Mordok to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind, a level head who could be trusted not, to, uh, not only to obey the young Lord Marquess's orders and keep him safe, but... To help keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. <laughs> oh, Wade. Goblins! A common species of beastmen. While at first glance they may seem like mindless predators, goblins have their own unique language and are skilled enough to both cast magics and make rudimentary tools and weapons. While mostly found on the continent of Storm, 
The spread of the blight has forced them to find homes near uh, find homes nearby to find homes nearby human settlements. A move. Oh, okay. To find homes nearby human settlements. A move that oft ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. Gotcha. Reading comprehension, kids. Get it today. <laughs> An area of swamp land that stretches northeast from Roseleth Castle. The odd village could once be found here, but nothing to compare to the lively settlements that line the main roads of the realm. And with the encroachment of the blight and the creatures driven before it, even these scant settlements were soon deserted. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. There's more. Loot! Get that loot! Is this where I need to go? This is where I wanna go! I don't have the room. I get it. <laughs> Maybe I should shrink myself or move my... You're going to miss a lot of stuff up here in the corner. And I wonder if maybe... Oh, that's not right. Maybe I do like a little bit off the top. Just take a little bit off the top. And a little bit off of this side. And then I move myself kind of like here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen, but... I know that uh, health bars and things of big bosses go up in the top there, and it might be worth looking at. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out real quick if I've <laughs> overthought this entirely, which usually happens. Let's be honest. Speaking of overthinking, I should really, instead of just dashing around, take the time to practice on these gobos. My awesome dodge skills. You know... You know those are you know those awesome ones that I'm known for. Let alone Perry. Oh God, help me! All right, here we go. Watch out, my lord. Some of their number are spell spells. And what a number! We'll all have our hands full here. Finish that guy off. Do this thing. Ooh, there we go! Alright, alright, this is what the practice is for. Oh my god. Well. Down with you! Alright, okay! I don't think it was perfect, but it looked good, and that's all that matters to me. I got a few free dodges there, they just missed. But, like, I'll take it. Alright. I'm gonna master this. Just give me, give me time. And less potions, please. More everything else, less potions. Although, maybe I'll need them. I don't know. Alright, continuing on. 
But I'm assuming the insufficient is just... I, I'm not going to ever keep them, so... That's a good reminder to spend them, you know what I mean? If I can't pick them up, I might as well just use them. We when I need to. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Oh, wait. <sighs> Damn it, wait. We're trapped. I love that line read. It's so good. I'm working on it. <laughs> He's the leader. Because he has the hat. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. All right. Let's see if I learned anything Here's invaluable. Thin the hurt. As if you have to ask. Oh, I did not. Go. There we go. Yo, <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> That was so good. <laughs> Hell yes! Well, now I know I can juggle a goblin, so that's pretty amazing. Oh, Shit! Boy. He's inviting a friend! Uh. On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes! Yep. Founder, that's a swing and a half. Be ready to move when it winds up for another. Oh! Okay, well, that wasn't what I wanted. Alright, hang in there, me. There we go! There we go! Oh, that does so much stagger. Oh, it's so nice. Hell yes. Okay, so that's... That's painful. But, so is that! You son of a bitch! <laughs> I got cocky. I was, I was doing well, and I just got super cocky. I'll take it. I'll take it. It wasn't pretty, but the things that worked, they worked. Also, speaking of not working, this was entirely pointless. That did that offered nothing. Let's move it back up. Ooh, but I'll take that too. Yeah. Back 
Then fight, you coward! After him, before he summons the rest. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. I very much want to do that. Okay. Gear. Let's go here. Equip this. Nice. Oh, uh, also, let's do... No, we're, we hit level six. We're good. There he is. What? Just try to be helpful, create a nice ramp for us across the swamp. That's why he's the Gobbo boss. Check that. This ends now. than its bite. All right, here we go. Judged it. There we go. Oh, Lord. Wade. There we go. There we go. Do something back there. There he goes. Okay. Took him a minute. He had to work up the courage. I get it. I get it. Look at this thing. He won't be gone for long. Fight 
final push, my lord. Pretty good about this boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting there. <laughs> I should just stop talking. <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm really good at this game. Immediately hit. <laughs> But I'll take the level up. Cool. The music in this game is so good, I just get lost in it. My lord. Thanks. I never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but more balls too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Damned blight. If you're curious what the chains are around this area, those are the borders of the different kingdoms. Um, we'll, we'll get a better look at it later, I seem to recall, from the time I had played before. This aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from northern raiding parties, but also serves as sacred ground whereupon the duchy's dominant might commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down our mama's gut. Wade is a bro. I like Wade. See your student making such a name for himself. <laughs> the young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. <laughs> Boy, don't.
don't like carrots. Are you unwell? No, Father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Hmm, I. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? It doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant, to wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. He's the finest hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. Such a good light but motif. You do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames 
to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Toggle. from the capital about a pound of trouble six cases of problems you took your time sampling the wearers were you <laughs> Good job the North is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Sparrow balance for the boys on the eh? What in the... Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. Wade! You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, your highness. Wade is a bro. Inside the castle. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. Well, but first. <laughs> but, but, but first. A walled keep situated near Rosaria's northern uh, northwestern border. 
It was originally constructed to serve as an outpost in the wars against the Northern Territories, but its true significance lies deep within the ruins atop which the stronghold stands. Here, in an ancient chamber accessible only to the dominant of fire, is held the rite of ancestral communion, an important ritual in which it is believed that the phoenix can hear the words of the duchy's forebearers. Love that he like can summon his own little torch. I think that's neat. I think that's what neat as that? hell. I have to help them. <gasps> Everything's on fire. Fall back, Your Highness. He's not one of us. Can I? Oh no! I was gonna say, can I learn about that guy? But <laughs> I don't need to. He dead. the interesting bit this is a whole other faction yeah the holy empire of Sembraqua. a nation occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of storm with the great city of oraflame oraflame as its capital Sembraqua is the realm's largest theocracy and home to the mother crystal drake's head under the rule of the Holy Emperor, the people of Sembraqua enjoy a life of plenty thanks to the crystal's blessing, which they believe to be a gift from the goddess Gregor herself. Interesting. So the more I learn, the more I, I realize I don't know, which I love. I'm all about that. Going that way. I am the dominant. No! We're a good ass team, me and Wade. Wade and I. what he does I'll hold them off You 
rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. Well done, Sir Wade. I'm in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. Lost Alan, to Isam Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember. Which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I know. You have to keep Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Hell yeah, let's do this. Anything before we jump into combat? Nope. Just time to kick some ass. So the good news is, is that it still heals me even if I can't collect it, which is nice. escape as you command you take care of that spell caster I'll keep the others occupied That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back.
That Dragoon pose. Right, look out. It's classic. May I have this dance? He's an Imperial Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you. <laughs> okay. So he does two there. Okay, that is ruthless. Alright. This guy's the first big, like, learn to dodge, dum dum. All right, I'm going to try. Like that. Yo, let's go. He's open. Now, Kai, how at it. You're going to regret that, boy. Oh, uh, poor timing! Poor timing! Oh, I tried. Lord knows I tried. Oh, boy. Okay. Jump. Oh my goodness. It's just not fast enough. There I can do it. Double jump, run away from that. Double jump. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I did it. But I did it, and I feel good about it, and I'm here for it. All right, double jump. Very good. All right. I'm not gonna lie. Those special items would have been useful there, but I'll take the level. That's how I feel Are inside. You hot? Whew. I'm fine. So, they sent in the dragoons. Imperial vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith. If they were already among us. What if there are others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. What is that?
That's the real plot of the game. Oh, hello. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. <laughs> you... you are the snakes! Stay back! I'm warning run, you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Hey. Vaporized. Rip, two of the best. The Phoenix! Joshua! Lord Murdoch! His Highness! Joshua! Stop this! He's lost control! I have to do something! I have to save him! No, my lord! Fall back! <laughs> Clive! Ambrosia, the weight of chocobos. Get her on her feet and run. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. My lord? That's an important line right there. Like, is the implication that this is a brand new, like, never be, like, never seen before icon? Like, Ifrit is. I don't know. 
I don't know what any of this means for the game. I'm so excited. blows my mind that they just put you full circle at the beginning. It's... what a great introduction. the castle where the phoenix would go you know commune
go! I thought I died. I thought I died. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh man. Woo! crazy about that scene is like there are a lot of ways to read that and my initial thought was oh Clive was in Ifrit doing that but couldn't stop himself but watching it again Torgal comes up to Clive and the initial explosion of Ifrit came from the fire guy not but it all could be inside Clive honestly I don't know I'm so like, ready Quite for the story to unfold. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. I just don't know. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. Nope, don't like her. I see. Not one bit. Your Grace, over here. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. 
All in its right place. Ladies, ruthless. She did one. tell him. She was like, "Don't let nothing happen to Joshua." <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. It's amazing that that's the intro. Like, that's the first time we see the actual title. That's amazing. Thirteen years later, so he is twenty-eight. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Biast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Who is this swashbuckling man? It looks like uh, one of the dudes who used to hang around Thor. The Warriors 3. New iconic abilities. Hello. How do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Let's jump over here. Whoop. Abilities. Yeah. Ability points can be spent to get abilities. Yep. I'm aware of that. Indicates an ability's capacity to deal damage. Indicates ability's capacity for breaking a target's will. I feel like will breaking is very important. Um... So, I got these bad boys, and then I also have access to this, which is kind of like a, I don't know, a 2-2 a two -two when I got a 2-3, and a 3-2 all seems pretty good to me. There's my dash. Well, hold off, because what I want to do is, yeah, get some good point stuff, or down here, executing a dodge with R1 at the moment. Not only increases evasion efficiency, but also allows for counterattacks, which is what I was doing before as younger Clive. So, and then that's the burst. All right, all right, we'll we'll save up. Ooh, wait, hold on, updates. <laughs> Hell yes! All right, let's go. The Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemy's blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Nice Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth. The Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka is the current dominant. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of the Dalmechian Deserts, the recipient of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. The Bastards, a unit of Imperial Army assassins tasked with taking the head of the Iron Kingdom's dominant, 
warden of ice and vessel for the icon Shiva. All of its members, including its leader, Tiamat, are bearers. Brandon men possess, uh, pressed. Brandon men possessed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. Branded soldiers. Bearers forced to fight for the nations that enslave them. Able to cast powerful magics, yet entirely disposable. They are often placed on the front lines in battle or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions, such as this case. The Nisa Defile. A deep, arid valley located in the eastern part of the Domekian Republic during the Battle of the Twin Realms in 1865, it was the site of repeated skirmishes as the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into Domekian territory. And Wyvern. A slave soldier that we don't know. For the Holy Emperor of San Brique, um, now in his 13th year of servitude. Though drafted as a frontline infantryman, the magical might granted him by the blessing of the Phoenix quickly saw him promoted to an elite squad of assassins, where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known. Their latest mission? To descend in the Nisa Defile, where bloody battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Damekia, and take the head of Shiva's dominant. Again, all stuff we kind of know, but like, a little bit more filled out. Big fan. Also... I like that they're called the Bayesters. <laughs> Take that. Thank you. All <sighs> well, the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Damn. Damn. They laid waste this place. Here, let me go over to items real quick. Because I feel like stone skin, high potion, one strength tonic. Uh, I'll wait and see. I might want to put that on my hot bar there. Or quick buttons. I'm not sure what we're calling them. I know they gave them a name, but I have forgotten. Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Dengpat! Bitra! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shreyskart! Adiorinir Sagarid! Drach! Please... Fight Alve. 
Operation Naukin, Alad Scully. Let this be the end. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Whoop, whoop, wipe You focus on the target. You understood? I was trying to push her. Ah, all right. No more. Orders, Sergeant. Stop talking and move. Fucking icons. Icon? She's not even fully primed. Oh, boy, I misjudged that completely. Misjudged that too. My oh my. There we go. Okay. Can't dodge that to save my life. I keep trying too. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh, my god.
Woo, I misread the entire fight. I was too busy being like, what the hell is this man going to say to her? Be like, hi, Jill. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been a while. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? Now he recognizes her? No, no, that's not you, not here. Oh. I'll bloody do it then. Fuck. We've got company, Wyvern. What are you doing? Lord Ohilda Vegla! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. With you, Wyvern! Domino. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! That's enough! Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! That's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take no. her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I go. don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. Ooh. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Not this time. No one hurts my friends, even my new friends. Wyvern? Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die. As you should have 13 years ago. <clears throat> Too slow. I will not f- 
fall by your hand! Your head. Great traitor's blade. That was a dope fight. That was great. That was so much fun. I love that. <laughs> it's your boy! This one. Uh, Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. That's about the gist of it. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. We put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. I don't even know what to say. I'm just enjoying all of this. Jill. Is it really you? Oh. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Best boy. 
Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! <laughs> Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. If Torgal's going, you gotta go. Ah, now we get to see a little bit more of the world. The withered remnants of a once verdant valley long consumed by the blight. One would have to either be extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. Yeah, that sounds like Sid. Also pretty impressed by, we're starting to see more. Oh, I can actually, hello. Yo. Hmm, so. I'm going to assume that these are the twins, these two continents here. These are the northern lands. This is the infamous crystal shard from the trailer that we keep seeing. Interesting. Okay. Let's, let's do this thing. Much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Sweet home. It looks so cool. Keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? 
old as anyone. That hard work and a bit of nerve. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. I like Goots. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Some good apple noise. I like... <laughs> Someone ADR'd in some good apple noise. Hide, hide away. All right. Right. So that's pressing the big button, the middle button, the touchpad button. Still not quite sure what that's called. Opens a detailed map of your current area. All right. So a quick press is the detailed map. And a hold. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. The Fallen. This is, this is the lore I want. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Valisthea. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by ma uh, modern methods. So the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. That's the kind of lore. I'm waiting to learn more about them. The Fallen. Barren wastes bereft of ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but un unusable. Here, both earth and water are stained black. I guess this is the whole uh, lacking ether thing that they mentioned earlier. Preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. A refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven, where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about, are only just able, about able, you know, whatever, to eke out <laughs> an albeit meager resistance. Okay. I actually like that, I think Sid was saying that the ruins themselves help, help protect them by, like, sucking up the the bad? I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how any of that works, but it's fascinating. Again, fallen stuff. I'm sure it is important. Resident Psyker of Sid's Hideaway. Or Physiker? Physiker. <laughs> sure, I'm sure someone will tell me how to pronounce that. Taria is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical interventions. Skills that are indispensable in their Deadland home, where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition to the Nysa Defile, she is placed into Targe's care. Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nysa Nisa Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh, until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Alright, now, let's explore. Oh, actually, before we just straight up explore, let me go to here, and... Still not, <laughs> still not enough! Okay, did I earn any good items? Nope, just these still. You reckon he's a soldier then? Be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. Oh, hi. hi. When he's not out chasing rumors, sits up there in that hole of his, brooding and scheming. Lay off the man. He's got plenty to brood about. When lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. 
With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. What a spoony bard. What do you think? I woke this morn inspired. <laughs> so spoony. So at some point here, I think I can unlock Orchestrion. I think he'd have time for a lit with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely are we, August? <laughs> but no! I'm no man's tool, and neither are you. You're right. None of us are. That's some hold my Cosmo right there. <laughs> You're right. None of us are. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. Turns out, I cannot. We have ample evidence. Most concerning. Some floors all mended then. It'll hold for now. No, I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Then you'll need to speak with Blackthorn. Don't worry, I I, I, I tried. That dude, not communicative. <laughs> Sid, Buds told me. The Blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. These apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? Now, like, what is a foul apple, really? Like, what kind of apple they eat? Okay, you gotta get those Envy Apples. Shout out to Envy Apples. Love them, they're delicious. Not going in there. Guess we're just going right over here. Unless. Oh, is this just another stairwell? Yeah, it is. Okay. Working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the San Brequois Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Cause with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far.
You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. A lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. I love Sid. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bother me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready, then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Might as well come back and talk to him again. It's downstairs. <laughs> Try not to get lost. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Anything up in here to look at? Okay, so this is where I need to go. Well, let's go this way. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Spoonie. When he's not out chasing, how did you like this chair? There in that hole of his. I haven't had long fish as sweet and tender since I was a that. maid. We've got plenty to brood about. Goots, was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is, then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. 
Thanks, Goots. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Coldest when we're done. Does Titan shit Baldis? <laughs> I don't know, does he? Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? There's no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? I have rum. Yeah. <laughs> a noisome spirit? Better suited for stripping oil. Yeah, that seems like what he would drink. All right. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. That's a line right there. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Great. Crafting of new gear, as well as upgrading of existing gear can be done at the blacksmith, as long as you have a recipe and proper materials. Okay. So that's gonna bump me to 23. And this is, this is just, I'm gonna get this to get this because that's part of the quest, huh? Yup. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Notices. There's things around town. You can, like, do stuff. That's my plan. I suppose I should think good. Actually, the notice is up right now, or is it go to Goots first? The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Quick as you like. All right. We make him comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Wait, me? Part of the team now, man. What the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Same. Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so.
He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Such a cool location. Another fine day at the hideaway. Too many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. There we go. The bane of my existence. <laughs> Actually, your existence. I'm going to have a great time. All right. Keep an eye out for the icons, the do list, quest priority. Oh my goodness. Who are these people? All oh, right. So we got a thousand tomes. We got our orchestrion. Um, let's go this way. Oh, actually, let's go way over here first. Oops, sorry. I heard they escaped their masters. <sighs> this whole place is falling apart. <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Yeah, all right. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, oh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Absolutely love that Clive answered, knowing that I was gonna accept it. He's like, yeah. All right. This dude knows he's about to do a lot of side questing. But most of these side quests are just to teach you like how to get around this place. It's not that confusing. But if you are confused, you'll know. You'll figure it out. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? What are names? It's almost like he likes these people, kinda. We'll get there. We'll get there, I believe. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. 
That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Five experience? Hell yeah! And a gill bug? Nice. Worth it. Also, real quick, I know it's not gonna be there, but... Otto, I was, I was, you know what, I was hoping for Jeffrey, but I'll take Otto. Chief Steward of Sid's Hideaway, who manages the day-to-day -day running of their operation in his friend's stead. Sid, often being taken far and away by his bearer-liberating activities. Even uh, when Sid is home, he prefers to leave such busy work to Otto. Much to the hard-pressed purser's indignation. You another one of Sid's strays? What? We all are. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. We're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. <laughs> Sounds like a great place to shop for clothes. Your brand. Lady Tyre yeah, might yeah, be able you to said that. that. Trying to see about completing as many quests as I can and then going over there and trying to craft some stuff. But while we're here, let's go do this. Hey! Background music played in the hideaway can be changed. Love that. Big, big Final Fantasy XIV thing. So you can go through and just change it up and collect music as you go. Not sure how to collect it, but very cool. I'm going to keep the music we have. Don't think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or good two name to for a souls restaurant. in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. Okay. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I want stew. <laughs> this game just sold me on the concept of stew. I'm like, you know what? I think I want some stew. Oh, meal. How long has it been? Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Hell yeah. The Iron Blood were quick to sound the retreat once Titan turned up. Fat lot of good that icon of theirs did them. I think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, 
the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one. Eh? I'd better let Kenneth know. I like how they're all working together, hanging in there. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Got any of that stew? No? Okay. Guess I'll settle for the lockbox. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm. Oh, yeah. Badge of metal. Hold on now! That's what I've been waiting for. Oh, wrong way. Defense by 10? It's on. Equipped. Hell yeah. So next time when I fail to dodge, it'll just hurt less. Uh, and then we can go upstairs. Do you think we should go and... Me wizened man? Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? Do got beard game. I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Yeah. I have a few new notes that might interest you. The Thousand Tomes is a comprehensive compendium of Valisthean lore, covering everything from basic terms to important persons, geography, and history. New information is constantly added as Clive progresses through the story. Past active time lore entries can also be viewed here. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. I love it. Love it. Hey! Oh. What subject shall we consider today? I was almost an amateur analyst. Yes, what should we consider today? And then it does related topics? Ooh, I like that a lot. And these are new to me? Because it had the little icon? Those within whom sleeps the power of an icon Though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman, 
they can not only cast elemental magic without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beasts of world-shattering strength at any moment, a quality for which they are honored, worshipped, and feared the realm over. Yeah, because the bearer I have. So if I miss it, oh, this is lovely. So I don't have to use ATL. I can, if I miss it, I can come here. Magical beings of godlike strength who dwell within human hosts known as dominants, only emerging when the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with a unique elemental affinity. It is commonly held that two icons of the same element cannot coexist, but none has ever witnessed all of these rare creatures together. The conjecture is yet to be proved. Interesting. So, if there's eight, and... Ifrit and Phoenix are both fire. Is Ifrit part of that eight? Or is Ifrit a ninth secret one? I don't I don't know. I don't know. The Battle of Nisa was a short yet bloody clash between the Iron Republic and the Republic of Dalmechia in the year 873. The Dalmechians, hoping to force an end to their long-running conflict with the Iron Blood had convened a council at Zirnitra Stronghold and entreated their, the Waluder allies, oh, these words, <laughs> damn you, Koji, uh, in their cause. However, talks soon broke down and the Demekians were left with no choice but to rely once more on the power of the mighty Titan, to whom they already owed a considerable debt. Thus was stage set for a showdown between Titan and Shiva, the Iron Blood's own icon in which losses on both sides were too many to count. Oh no, I saw. It was bad. Relevant topics. Wow, that's so neat. I love that. Wow, 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 wow. Look at us. Look at look at us. There's so much here. There's so much here. Time out. Speaking of a mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate immediately before the appearance of the second Icon of Fire, the very icon that slew the heir to the Ducal Throne. Clyde believes this man to be the dominant who murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. Damn, there's so much here. What is the uh, lay of the land? Yeah, let's do let's do the main world. The realm of Valsthea comprising the two twin continents of storm and ash, over which the mother crystals stand timeless vigil. At the foot of each, great cities have risen up over the eons, and around them powerful nations. Though the lands uh, the land has been blessed with the light of magic since time immemorial, in recent years a creeping blackness has begun to gnaw at its borders, the blight. The westerly Valsthea's two great continents, with its frozen northern reaches, its temperate marshy midlands, and searing heat of the south. It boasts a breadth of climes and cultures not seen anywhere else in known realms. Interesting. All right. I assume we'll be back. There'll be more, but uh, we'll 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 hit it as we go through. I'm sure we'll get more opportunities. I don't want to sit here all day. I'm sure it doesn't make for the most riveting content. It's riveting to me! Hmm. Priming is uh, when they become them. The act of a dominant transforming their living flesh into that of their icon. Dominants most often prime during times of war, using the immense strengths of their icons to turn the tides of battle. Though it is usually done deliberately, the dominant remaining in control of the icon even when primed. On occasion, a dominant will lose control of their powers and see their icon run riot, which we've we've witnessed. The Beastmen! Bard, he was spoony. Journal of Moss. All right. Actually, I want to... The Journal of Moss, yeah. The Annals of Moss the Chronicler, which was at the very beginning of the game, a scholar of Valsthean history, noted not only for his singular insight, 
but for the lyricism of his writing, an exceptionalism that earned him the enmity of his fellow scholars and drove him from public life. Such were the misgivings towards him that only a handful of copies of the journal were ever published, making the tome a prized find among collectors. Why was that the chosen... It was most the chronicler who... Like, that was the intro, so... Interesting. Second icon of fire. What is it? So does he not know what it's called? A fire-respected icon. The first emerged... Uh, that first emerged in the year of the realm 1860, when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against Phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before or since. So it isn't known as Ifrit. Yet. Marlboro, Chocobos. Stolases? You know what? I want to know more about these. Owls capable of transmitting the thoughts of others. Ah, that's what the... Ah, okay. Specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to ancient incantation, their lith, lith, lithified third eyes, <laughs> yeah, store these thoughts in the form of ether, allowing them to be passed on as and when required, though only to the intended recipient. Stolases are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of uh, sending secret or urgent messages and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation, O oh, Mia lost Ilan, to Isag Ilith, can be loosely translated as, My will is now thy burden, ne'er cleft our bond shall be. Hmm. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Interesting. So you want to come back to him as often and as possible to... this old soul be of service? Does it... If you have a question for me... I should be happy to answer it. So it's more game progression based than it is, like, how much did you read? Did you learn everything you needed? I want to ask him another question. Good day. Or when I was very young. Oh, when I was very young, I lived beyond these shores. My father would read to me every night from the only book we had, The History of Alistia by Moss the Chronicler. So enchanted was I by this realm of myth and magic that when I was of age, I enlisted as a deckhand on a merchant galley that I might see it with my own eyes. Yet, when I arrived... What I found was a land of war and suffering, darkened by the blight and evil in men's hearts. Still, I was determined to follow in the footsteps of Moss and record what I could. And so I did, in all manner of places and all manner of roles, until my aging legs could carry me no more. Fortunately, Sid found me by the roadside, so to speak, and offered me a place here, where I might continue my studies, albeit without the wandering. Okay. Interesting that he then implies that the world we know, that, that I, the map, right, isn't the whole world. It's just one small part of it, which is very fun, and honestly, I don't need to see the rest, but it would be fun to. But I like sort of the mystery of, okay, we're not all that's it. We're a very special realm. <laughs> uh, let me go here. Orgle, how you doing, bud? He's sleeping. He's out. Um, actually, maybe I should go here. Maybe she sells items? Like weapons, not just like potions. I don't know. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. True. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. 
Now, let's see some coin. I love her. Hell yeah. Okay. Shops. Let's do this thing. Ah, broadsword. Oh, okay. Uh, so much better than what I have. Yes. It'd better all be here. Yeah. All right. Iron braces. Better than what I have. Wow. You're rubbing me blind, you know. And I couldn't bother if I wanted to. All right, nice. Um, what's this? What's what's the cell vibe? I need that belt for show. Uh, let's sit with what we have at the moment. That's all. Why you barely a guilty your name? <laughs> well, yeah. You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. <laughs> He's a good boy. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. I see him giving me the side eye like, you owe me, bro. The Eret Stone is now accessible. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive with a safe location to test out new abilities. All sorts of different things. Yeah, so right now, all I have is the training area, which I'll just show you. It's cool as hell. I got to try this out. This was fun. So you, like, roll up, and then you can just pick your enemy. So in this case, and you can see on the side there, so training options, right? Input display, regen, select target. I can come here and change who I want to fight. Right, so maybe I want to try the Goblin Weaver instead. Yeah, it kind of shows you all the different one, two, like you can learn. Nate, I think this is neat as hell. Especially if you, like me, want to learn to do it all without having to use the special items, right? It's, it's, it's here to help you practice. Later on, other things will open up. Not sure when that is, but I know they do. You're all done. Leaving already, are ah, you? Yeah. It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Before I go, fast travel. Use the world map to instantly travel to previous unlocked locations. Uh, new locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. Before I do that, um, actually, let's go here and let's go here. All right, so that's good. That's good. That's good. I do have a question. Just to, this is a question that everyone asked me when I was playing demo stuff. So that's the sword we have right now. And if we switch to the Imperial Blade. Yeah, they change. These weapons change, neat. Great, big fan. Can't wait to see what some of the weapons later on look like. 
But first, let's go back in here. Well? I'm gonna ask about you. But I ain't the cook, am I? Though, if you've tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. Look. Sid needed a smith, and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that a forge here is the hardest this side of hell, or that it works without magic. I won't have no bearer suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling? You bring it here, along with your own materials and any scraps left over I keep. What do you want? I want to make a broadsword. Yeah, I can do it. Although, boy, nah, no, this is the winner. Did last you a good while. Nice. Yeah, I need more wire right. And. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? <laughs> Damn right! <laughs> the Great Wood. So vast and deep is the Great Wood, it serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire. While its denizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest's everlasting night. Nearby activities? What does that mean? Oh, okay. There's, it's just that. Interesting. We should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. Hey! Gotta bring the boy. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Fanning Embers. Torgal has joined the party and will fight along live. Yep. I now have Torgal commands, but I also have the Ring of Timely Assistance. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. Is there a map of this area? Nope. Sorry, I just gotta appreciate music plus view. It's great. Maybe they're friendly. There we go! Oh, maybe they're not. Oh, back attack. A little help. Yeah. Just stop. 
Torgal menu is not that hard to use. Uh, I was going to equip the item, but I'm going to try and just, like, do it au naturel. This way, your lordship. All right, hold on, I'm exploring. Malige. His name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Does it want to be eaten? Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said there were deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. Oh, come on! Well, that's the undergrowth sorted. I'll take it from here. Hold on. He healed me. I gotta. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. I wanna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this was the this was the glow from earlier. After you. Thank you kindly. I love these two. This group is great. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. We just gonna stop the music like that? Ah, of course. I mean, like, of course we will. A wyvern. I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? Oh! Get him, boy! 
Preemptively dodging because I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what this dude does. Just kind of like winging it, much like him. Did it? <laughs> Hell yeah, I did it. I mean, yeah, I meant to do that. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did it. Nice. Hell yeah, all that's useful. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. Sorry, I just want to look at this view one more time. It's beautiful. No, Torgo, I know. Move it, move it. I get I'll admit, it. I hadn't counted on that. What is it, boy? Animal instinct. Torgo knows the way. He's a good boy. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Torgo. <laughs> I was about to say, is that it? It was here. Wow. All right. Magic Ash. Nice. It like... I love how dense it looks. You know what I mean? Like it looks like a forest. Like a real ass forest, not like a video game forest. Although this doesn't look good. Oh, Lord. Hello, boys! that way. Was there something around here? Whoa! Nope, that's light. Sorry, Torgal. You know I had to look for that loot.
sword sharp. You'd better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. What? Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a dump site quicker if you help me. I thought so exactly. Oh! Never mind. Misjudge that. There we go. to dodge that I just got flips no one knows oh, 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 I went in I went in and I shouldn't have gone in and I uh, you know what there's a good boy oh my god I, I get that. Oh, come on. Stand back.
problem solved. <coughs> Clive what? found that. Shocker You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones round who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war? <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. What did you plan on doing when you find this dominant the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. Alright. Forest dark enough as it is. failure on my part. I thought I could do that swing attack on him. Oh, come now. That would have been cool if it worked. Swing in no time. In no time. Right. That's it. Okay, I'll take that. That was dramatic as hell. All right. Hmm. 
this is the way to go, but I want to go this way and fight all those dogs and or Wyvern hanging out because that is, <laughs> that is what I am doing apparently. So wait, is this the way I'm supposed to? Is this the way I'm supposed to go? There are multiple paths here, I guess, huh? Okay. They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? <laughs> Damn! Intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! <sighs> I like how Sid's just. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> he really is! That's amazing. So disrespectful. At least they're not giant lizards. Put our lady on the wind! He got me! He got me! Sick of trouble! Down well! Why are you striking? 
looking to pose like that, dum dum. There we go. Keep your distance, boy. Give them all you've got, boy. You know what to do, boy. Cranked it up to 11. Alright, so he's gonna do a charge in. And he's gonna attack me like. Oh, no, he's gonna fire! Oh. There we go. was awesome <laughs> that was awesome i was feeling that that was that was cinematic that was cinematic as shit i love that badge of might hell yes they thought we were imperials well you do look the part Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the One Warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies, and even that can take years. 
Hmm. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. <sighs> Stage replay in arcade mode. So I can go back to the redstone, and if I want to, replay stuff. Um, I can actually I can show you that. It's not even that difficult to show you. Right. So the next area would be, ooh, the Orabelle Downs. But let's go back here real quick. New items. Hello. New crafting recipe. All good. So now in here... I have an arcade mode, which I can replay any previously cleared stage and be awarded score based on performance, but it's like restricted, right? So we're talking like min item level stuff if you really want to go hard on it. And then stage replay. Replay any previous stage that you've cleared. Treasure coffer data is retained. Not too bad. Locked. 